right, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, getting ready time to leave Fort Myers, headed up to Port LaBelle Marina. So what I'm gonna do is throw some of this sea foam uh, in the crankcase and the oil of the engine. Now, I've already sea foamed uh, the injectors by putting this in the uh, fuel filters. So I'm gonna add this to the crankcase oil and that's gonna clean up any of the sludge in the motors. Uh, these engines have not been running synthetic oils with detergents in them and they uh, haven't also they've been run on a regular basis this boat was sitting for a few years uh, and then it probably sat for a few years before that and was driven a little bit so these engines accumulate sludge i'm taking it on a 50 mile drive up the Kalahatchee river so first i'm going to start by throwing some of this into the crankcase this engine holds three gallons of oil so we're going to put uh oh 14 ounces and I've got a can right here with ounces so uh, 14 is about to here I'll just fill that up and I'll do the other engine uh, also so yeah there's 14 15 this is just gonna act like a detergent in the oil that's all it's gonna do when I get to the marina I'll change the oil. So I've got, uh, I've already got down here, uh, these buckets here. I've already got uh, Rotella 1540 T4. So I've already got the oil. Uh, I've got two of these buckets for each oil, uh, three quarts for each oil. And I got the generator. So I've ran this in the generator. Right now I'm gonna throw this here into the engine just like that. I can hear it running through the motor. It's just gonna act as a detergent in the oil and clean up the passageways. If there's anything possibly blocked, uh, a little bit of crud or something. Sea foam, uh, I'm put the top back on this so I don't have to breathe it. <laughs> this stuff is excellent uh, for marine use. Anybody working with small engines, generators, uh, I've got a big jug, so I've just got all this engines uh, here on the... If you've got a generator that's got a little bit of a, a rough idle, add, uh, follow the instructions, add a little bit of a sea foam to the gas, and it uh, will clean it right up. There could just be a little bit of grit, a little bit of dirt in the needle jet, in the main jet or something. Uh, so instead of taking the whole engine all apart, if you don't want to do that, this is a, a mechanic in a bottle. If you've got high oil pressure, if you've got an engine that's been sitting a long time and you wanna clean up the oil passages in the engine uh, before you change out the oil, run sea foam in the crankcase oil. This is gonna be a detergent in the oil and it's gonna to help to uh, you know, clean up any oil passages that could be blocked and uh, get any of the sludge out of the, out of the oil. And you should run this, uh, I'm gonna do this every oil change uh, at least the next, every oil change, I'm gonna add sea foam. Keep my engine sludge free and clean so the oil uh, isn't getting blocked anywhere. What I'm gonna do is pre-trip the engine, check all the belts. Uh, I checked the tension on the belt already and look for any leaks on it since I'm gonna be taking this out in the open water. And you should pre-trip your boat also, your engine every time. All it takes is a cracked hose and you're gonna overheat or be done out in the water. So I'll get the engine uh, fired up right now and we'll take a look at uh, uh, and make sure there's nothing leaking on it. All right, so taking a look at the engine, um, I can see uh, the belts on there, it's tight, not hitting anything. Checking all the fuel components that uh, the injectors, at the top of the engine aren't leaking. So here's the injectors on this Yanmar here. Making sure nothing on the motor's leaking. No leaks down below. Looking to make sure I've got no leaks back here. Any drips or leaks, anything I should be looking at. So this engine looks good. 
check your fuel filters. Mine look good. I, I drained them also, so anything that made these are new Raycor 900 I put in before I left St. Petersburg. It has an oil change kit installed so you don't have to get under the engine or pump it out from the top. And you just kick on this pump here. And the oil is pumping out here out of this hose. Black, black oil. Now running that sea foam in the engine, uh, right now I'm doing the port engine. Yeah, let me tell you, doing that uh, sea foam in there, my oil pressure went from 80 down to 40. So there was a lot of sludge in that motor. I'm looking at that oil. It is thick as tar. So one of the reasons I want to do this oil, this is why I haven't gone very far, because the boats needed work and maintenance. Uh, look how thick and just awful, god awful, that oil is like tar. Uh, this engine, both these engines were running at about uh, 80 pounds of oil pressure. So once I put the seafoam in, the port engine, I brought it back down to 40. And that's why I was like, okay, let's swap the oil out now. I'll put new oil in. And then uh, I'm going to put seafoam in the new oil and run that for uh, up to Port La Belle Marina uh, when I leave Tuesday. All that old engine oil changed out, which was thick as black tar. These motors, would the oil pressure gauges would not move off 80 PSI. I mean, they were just pegged at uh, full oil pressure. I added the seafoam to the oil, ran the engines for about a half hour at 1500 RPMs, I'll go up, I'll show you on the gauges here in a minute when we put the fresh oil in. It's now at idling at 40 PSI of oil pressure. I changed out the oil. That somebody's calling me, just ignore that. I'm not recording this again. I've got a new filter. I'm going to throw some 1540 in it. And then I'm going to throw some sea foam. That way uh, it sucks up right here out of the port and continues to clean the engine. Uh, a couple of clogged oil ports on the engine, and uh, that's what you're gonna have is high oil pressure. I'm really happy that uh, I was able to get that oil pressure down because uh, I was uh, pretty concerned about that. Uh, in fact, it is noted in the C trial. Also, uh, when I bought this, you know what I think is that I need a funnel. What did I do with all my, I had about 20 funnels a minute ago, is I think I need to, here, rip one of these. So I'm not, I've got funnels all over in here. Okay, so that I'm not dripping like this. And then throw some oil in this like that. And not lose the oil cap to the engine. This engine holds three and a half gallons of oil. So I think this is the best way to do it. I was gonna pump it into the engine, but I think this will be the way to do it. Just like that. Ooh, a nice happy engine. <laughs> throw all this in. Then we'll throw a, uh, I'll also put 12 ounces of sea foam. One ounce to uh, a quart of oil, you've got three and a half gallons of oil. So well, we'll just round it to about 12. And I'll run this uh, in the motor and just let it keep running in there until I change the oil again. I don't think this is harmful at all to run in the engine oil long term, but I'll probably change it out again when I get to Port LaBelle and uh, I'll throw this in here. A little concoction that'll add a detergent to the oil. Clean up these oil passages more. And we'll have this engine running the way it's supposed to be. We're looking at the starboard engine, so I just changed the oil. Now both engines have had both the oils changed and I added the sea foam. So let's uh, fire up the starboard engine now. Let's see how we're doing on oil pressure. Oh. This starboard engine's a little tricky. Sometimes you gotta move these shifters a little bit. 
over here. And if I undo this, <laughs> so sometimes these old boats, if you're not, if your boat's not starting, play with the shifters a little bit, the neutral switches. May uh, there we go. Okay, so we've now we're coming back up with oil pressure. Okay, there we go, and it's falling off a little bit. All right. Yeah, we'll just let that fresh oil run in there. We'll get this one running. Poor engine. Let's see how we're doing. Slowly coming up. It's around 40 PSI. Look at that. That, now that's impressive. When I first bought this boat, it would peg like the uh, starboard engine's doing right now, but even the starboard engine has fallen from the being over the 80. But look at that. Wow, that, that's incredible. When I first bought this boat, it was pegged over 80 no matter what. And the engine's not even warmed up. So let's, uh, let's see here. Let's uh, throttle it up. To 1500. Yeah, I'll bring it right up to 2000. This is the port engine. Looking at the gauges, your port side left. Oh, yeah, look at that 65. I bring it back down. Let's see where it comes to 60. Falling. Oh, yeah, that's good oil pressure right there. 40 and 60 at idle and it was idling earlier at uh, at around 40 so that's I mean that's pretty good at least we know oil is going through the engine and we'll have to see how this does once I run this to Port LaBelle 50 miles uh, up the Kalahatchee crossing uh, Florida because I'm gonna keep the seafoam I still got the 12 ounces of seafoam in the engines Recommended, uh, roughly recommended by Seafoam on their instruction. So this is really nice, about 50 PSI at idle. Now this one's still running high on oil pressure. So uh, this one's your oil pressure right here we're looking at. Still at 80. So it builds up over 80. So we'll just see, we'll just run the engine and have to see how this one does. This port, uh, or this is the starboard, starboard engine, have to see how it does. So far, I mean, it's still high, but how the oil pressure is pegged right now, up over 80, that's how the oil pressure was when I first bought it, no matter what, even at idle. So you can see the gauge is moving. Now this isn't a gauge off the motor, uh, if I go down there and put a gauge on the motor, this could be miscalibrated, but as far as what I'm seeing right here, so maybe a few oil changes in sea foam. If you just change the oil, if you're having high oil pressure and you just change the oil, that's just gonna put different oil in the engine. You need a detergent like sea foam. Uh, I've heard people using kerosene or diesel fuel. Uh, there's, there's a couple other products out there. Uh, if you go to AutoZone, you'll see Seafoam. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong with it. And uh, at least I'm seeing an improvement in the oil flow of the engine. So I'll just let this motor run for about a half hour more. And I'm going to be pretty happy with it. Now look at this one. This one, I haven't idled it, changed it at all. The, the port engine, and we're at about uh, 50 PSI. And we'll bring the idle up to 2000 and this is how the other this is how the starboard engine should be running too we're at about 70 pounds seventy pounds of oil idling at about 50. 
This one's at about 70 PSI, the Starbird engine. So, okay, well, all right, well, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching uh, this episode, changing the oil, getting the boat ready, uh, leaving, leaving for Port LaBelle Marina, like I say, uh, Tuesday, what, I don't even know what month it is. <laughs> working, working and traveling so much. What's it, the, coming up the end of May, 2023. Um, and so, like I say, this is my YouTube channel. It's just me vlogging about my boating. If anybody is to buy a boat or I sell this boat, they can just see, you know, like right now, the engine hours on the, on the port engine is 1,591. The engine hours on the, starboard engine is 1121 and uh well this is just my vlog of uh you know my boating so thanks for watching and uh like i say i'm here by marina town i've had a couple other boats pull in but there's plenty of room oh geez you could probably get uh three more boats in here four into this uh into this cove i'm in uh, yeah well Okay, well, thanks for watching. Uh, check my other uh, videos out on my channel.